to make sure that we, we connect with Africa so that our people in South Africa and the people of Africa uh, in general do business and transact with the, with the South Africa. But also that we share in our experiences. We know that rollout of broadband is in different stages um, in each and every country in, in the continent. We have not done um, well as yet, and that is why now we're working on our broadband plan. And we think that there are other countries like Rwanda, if I'm not mistaken, that are actually doing very well. And we think, okay, if there are other countries that are doing well in other areas, and they are not necessarily doing well in other areas, so maybe we can share and learn from each other. We think that we're doing well on DTT um, rollout as much as we have not done well you know, in, uh, in broadband rollout. Of course we have done much in, in broadband rollout in terms of what I was saying earlier on that you know, those that have um, a, the handheld gadgets, the smartphones, they do have access to, 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 to data or to internet but not all of them because in rural areas we still do not have broadband and therefore they can't access it. So we really want to make sure that um, here we use this platform to engage, collaborate, share in our experiences, learn from other people, and then the other countries can learn from our own experiences. And we believe that out of this conference, we can walk out with some declaration that says, where do we want to go in the future? Let's talk about the rollout of broadband and internet penetration here in South Africa, yes. Minister. What is the target in terms of internet penetration, and how's it going? Look, it's going very well. The target is that um, we should have um, rolled out internet, I mean uh, broadband, 100% by 2020. This is a, an agreement and a declaration that we have made together as a, a department in government with our partners who are a private sector, the, the, the ICT industry. They have said if government you come through, uh, with any investment of a certain amount of money, we are always willing to join you. And as you would know, if government doesn't um, you know, invest in broadband rollout and take all the risk away from the business, business will never you know, um, take the risk to go to the rural areas. Business will always go to the gated areas and go to the metros and the cities. So we have as government to take the responsibility and invest in rolling out broadband in the rural areas. That's what we think we can do by 2020, 100%. Minister, what do you see are some of the developmental roles of ICT? Also touching on some of the e-government services that are being provided. Look, let me just make an example on the on the e-government services. Today, as you talk about uh, the Department of um, uh, Home Affairs, when you go and apply for a, 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 an ID, the day when you finish your forms and you submit, when you walk out of there, you get an SMS that says to you, look, you have just registered to, to uh, you know, apply for ID and you have to wait for us until um, you know, maybe the next week we will tell you where, the, the, where your, your form is. And after a week they send you another SMS, they, they inform you up to the day when you get your ID. And then today, as we speak, uh, Home Affairs has even improved more on e-government because, I mean, if you apply for your passport, for example, it only takes three days. And from the first day to the third day and where you should go and collect it, they inform you. South African um, Revenue Services, which is SARS, also uses that to inform you and to remind every citizen that, look, you have not filled in your, your SARS forms. Please uh, remember the closing day. So we think that we're doing very well, but we still have to improve on that. And I think that if we can improve on that, we will have done a lot for the people of South Africa. Mm -hmm.